Hello and welcome to the channel and happy Thanksgiving to all my Canadian followers. It is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada and we have been blessed with another few days of very nice warm temperatures. So today I am finally getting my garlic into the ground and I'm going to try doing it in containers. So I have been told and read in different uh, group chats that growing in containers in our zone three here where we get really cold winters is probably not recommended. So, um, but I always like to try, see what happens. So we do get temperatures here on the prairies going down to the minus 30 degrees Celsius for several days <laughs> and everything freezes up, you know, probably in the next month, the ground will freeze up and it'll stay frozen until spring thaw so there's um you know i'm gonna try it here i'm gonna put some uh, more soil in here I'm gonna top it up with some of my favorite organic fertilizer so that they have some uh, some good nutrients in the soil in the spring when they start sprouting uh, cover it up maybe with some dried leaves kind of give it a bit of insulation and we will see how it goes so i'm going to be doing some hard neck garlic i picked up um, a few bags of it the other day. I just peeled it all and I got some really nice sized garlic bulbs here. So I am going to just get my soil ready a little bit here with some uh, some fertilizer, a bit more soil, and then we will put them in. So the past couple years I've always done my garlic in the ground. That area where I've planted uh, this past year got really overgrown with quack grass. It's so hard to keep my ground from being overcome with quack grass and weeds so that's why I'm always resorting to gardening in the containers so I'm using some repurposed uh, potting soil here just from a bunch of my planters small planters that I've dumped out this fall and I'm just gonna give it a little more boost with some more of this organic fertilizer this is a fourth yeah 444 all purpose. So I'm going to keep them a little bit away from the edges because you know it will be colder around here. Try to keep them in the center. Maybe they'll get a bit more insulation there. Not sure if that will actually make a difference, but we'll give it a try. I usually spread them about three or four inches apart. I'm just going to put them in a circular planting pattern here. This container was used for planting potatoes last year, which worked out good, but I just thought I'll try use it for my garlic this year. I have no end of these containers all over my garden so I can figure out next spring where the potatoes might go. So I'm going to have about a dozen or so in this container here. I'm going to cover it up. Add a little more soil on top. We just had lots of rain this past couple weeks, which is something that we haven't had all summer. It would have been nice to get this amount of rain last June, but it didn't happen. So everything has got lots of moisture in it, which is great for everything that is uh, closing up for the winter. There's a lot of moisture in the soil, so that's good. So I got some leaves that were raked up this spring been bagged up and just sitting so they're kind of broken down they got a lot of moisture in them just gonna put a good thick layer here on the container and give them some insulation and in the spring I can kind of pull it back and check and see if we have any garlic going. so I'm back here to my original spot in the ground where I've been planting my garlic for the last three or four years decided I still 
better get some in the ground just in case my container method is a fail. I still want to be able to get some garlic. So I've been cleaning it up here, pulling out all the quack grass that I can. And I'm really glad that I'm going to do this because this is really nice soil here. I've been adding wood chips and leaves and it's breaking down and it's really nice soil here full of lots of uh, organic material. So the rest of the garlic is going to go in the ground here. And then we can uh, see in the spring which method works best. So I'm going to do this in a couple of my big uh, 30 gallon tubs here and we will see how it goes. You'll have to uh, check back with me next spring to see if this is successful. If you have any advice on planting garlic in containers, I would love to hear it in the comments. So if you haven't already done so, please uh, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on all my winter uh, growing videos coming to the channel over the next uh, five or six months of winter and we will see how this turns out in the spring.